Greetings collectors, followers and friends, Tom Hughes here with some more thoughts on painting. I am in, I should say on, Sugarloaf, uh, which is next to Abergavenny in South Wales at the edge of the Black Mountains. It's just the weather I want, which is scattered cloud, big fluffy ones and sun. And the reason I like that is because it casts these beautiful uh, purpley grey shadows across the hills. It's very dynamic um, and I find that terribly exciting. Um, it's been a while hasn't it? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I just wasn't in the mood for it for a while but today for some reason I am. So here we are. I've got this new thing, this uh, wonderful new bike and I came up to the top of Sugarloaf on this steed. It's a Sonda Broken Road titanium framed mountain bike with these enormous 2.8 inch tyres um, and unusually for a mountain bike it has a pannier rack which I have two different sized pannier bags on, one to hold my painting box and the other to hold my coat and stuff. All my food's in here, there's a zip on the other side. Got my water and everything. Um, and this is a fantastic way, <coughs> no, Uber ruler there, I thought that was quite cool. And that's a fantastic way to get around the Black Mountains and access the landscape. Um, it's fine doing everything on foot, obviously, but I love bikes and I love mountain biking. And to be able to combine plein air painting with mountain bikes is fantastic. Um, you want to see the view, I assume. Can you see it over my shoulder? It's rather fantastic. Oh, oh no! Ah. Oh, this is my um, this is my uh, inflatable bum pad that I've wrapped in a bin bag so it doesn't get all uh, disgusting and wet and muddy. Yeah, that's the view. Um, it's rather lovely. Uh, right over there is Penafan and uh, I think that summit up there is Wun Fach, which is sort of quite deep into the Black Mountains. Um, yeah, it's a lovely place. And this is what I'm talking about, this sort of uh, falling light on the hills, these shadows. It was more dramatic when I first got up here, actually. It's, um, it's not as stunning as when I first arrived, but that's okay. So we're gonna try and do a painting. Uh, the light's changing a lot. It's windy, it's cold, I haven't got long. Uh, gotta go and put the kids up. Right, let's go. Oh man, I don't know how much wind noise you've got but it is pretty darn windy up here I've um, I'm only using the box lid today because it's lighter and I've got this bit of elastic around here is this gonna work I don't even know oh. Okay, it's suddenly got uh, it's suddenly got very cold and windy. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a lot of painting uh, of the Black Mountains at the moment enjoying it immensely um, most of them so far have been studio paintings which I'm sure you'll all be horrified to hear but you know these days the kind of work that I want to do and I'm talking about how my work um, 
how my work actually looks. more suitable than trying to do everything plan air. As a lot of you know, I spent the first five years of my painting journey painting exclusively from life, no cameras at all, and then I started using photography uh, to experiment with studio work because there's some things you can't do outside and I wanted to do outside. I mean, today is a very, very good example, right? So it's, it's cold, it's incredibly windy because we're on the summit of a mountain. Now, if it was summer, that would be fine, but it's not summer, it's autumn, going into winter. And I'm not actually that interested in landscape painting in the summer. I find bright blue skies quite boring. I like weather and I like the sun breaking through clouds and fleeting light effects. Uh, it's very hard to paint a fleeting light effect in plan air. Um, because it's fleeting. But cameras, obviously, are very good. I've got nowhere to put this. Cameras are very good at capturing fleeting effects. And if you paint it outside as much as I have, you know how to interpret a photo and you know how to take a photo with <coughs> a painting in mind. So, and it also, you know, it, plein air painting in Wales when you live in Bristol, it doesn't really fit in around childcare. Picking thing, uh, things, picking the kids up from school. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm sure if you've got kids, you know how incredibly complicated life is already when you throw into the mix trying to make a living painting everything on location in winter up a mountain it's not going to happen and I've actually become very uh, I'm very into studio painting I like it I like it a lot there's a lot you can do in the studio you can't do outside uh, <clears throat> yeah, but this is fun, it's exciting, I don't know how this is going to go, um, I mean there's no substitute for working outside but like I said, practicality wise, Very tricky endeavour. So what's been going on? Um, got COVID three weeks ago for the second time. I got it December last year. Got it again three weeks ago. It's not the disease it was. That was my takeaway. I mean, uh, I felt very ill, but it's more like a heavy cold with flu elements. Um, the first time I had it, I thought, am I actually going to need to go to hospital at some point because I couldn't breathe properly. My heart rate was all over the place. But And I was ill for months, really, and had to go to the doctor, ECG, all that sort of stuff. It wasn't like that this time. Um, it was, yeah, more like a heavy cold the chest element of it was bad. My chest still hurts to be honest. I'm trying to get my mountain bike to the top of, top of Sugarloaf was 
no mean feat. And then, you know, I got, yeah, so I got COVID two weeks ago and then three weeks ago and then a week ago I got a vomiting virus me and my son got it uh, and it decided to make itself known at night time and I picked up my son Louis out of bed not knowing that he was ill not knowing I was ill took him to the bathroom to have his um, sort of 11 p.m. wee and uh, plonked it on the toilet and he sort of made a gurgling sound and I thought oh what's that it's a bit strange and then he projectile vomited down my back uh, I quickly stood him up um, tried to plonk him on the toilet and he just sat um, vomiting what looked like an entire pizza onto the bathroom floor none of it went in the toilet at all uh, so that was rather alarming so I plonked him in the bath <laughs> cleaned it all up my girlfriend was out at the time, so I had to deal with all this by myself. Um, went to bed myself, and then he continued to be sick every 30 minutes for about four hours. And then I started throwing up at about three in the morning, so we were both at it. So that was fun. So yeah, that was on, on top of sort of getting over COVID. <laughs> not a good not a good couple of weeks that but I'm feeling you know I'm feeling loads better now uh, loads which is why I'm here the sun's sort of popping in and out isn't it it's um Oh, thank you. Oh, it's just grip. yeah, <laughs> just grip, grip my teeth, grip my teeth, and go for it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so getting over all my illnesses. I'm quite a sickly, sickly child. <laughs> I do seem to get ill easily, get run down. And the older I get, you know, it gets harder to get over things, doesn't it? You're 40, 43 uh, next month, which I find <coughs> almost impossible to believe. There we go. <coughs> oh, COVID cough. 
Right, light's changed a l well, not a lot, but enough. What's that? Yeah, I'm sort of absolutely enamoured with the colour these hills go when they get a shadow on them. Just love it, that purple. I just, it's, I don't know why I find it so... I, mean, I find it, I genuinely find it sort of exhilarating to look at. live very close to here so yeah. 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 all right let's get a another brush and get a shadow color going Is it? It's like a purple, purple grey. Okay, my hands are freezing. Youch. I'm going to really try and stay here and get this whole painting done, but you will have to forgive me if I bug out before the end. Ha ha ha. It is sort of a bit, a bit bonkers doing things like this, but do you know what? I don't know if you've heard of type one and type two and type three fun, but like, so type one fun is a uh, no danger, nice and easy, you know, a walk, gentle walk with your friends. Type two fun could be say, you know, a rainstorm on the walk where you get wet, but so what? You're 20 minutes from the car, you get back, you dry off, you're fine. Oh, I've dropped, dropped my brush. <clears throat> and then type three fun might be, you know, you're soaked to the skin and you're three hours from the car and you drop your backpack in a river and you lose all your food. Type three, you know, you might be risking hypothermia and at the time be incredibly unhappy. But it's a good story. And after you get home and you're fine and you've had a cup of tea and you're warm, you're sort of glad it all happened because once you're safe, you get to tell people about it and you've got a story and you've certainly got a memory because let's be honest most days tend to blend together and it's very hard to <coughs> remember anything really I find especially as I get older so it's good to punctuate life with adventure and suffering. Type two. I like type two. Type three I can I can go years without any type three. Type two I think I actually I think I need it. I think I need it quite quite regularly. So this is this is type two. My hands 
hurt quite a lot. Um, but I'm having a great time. I hope you can see the painting. I've got it on like that really wide view. I hope you can see what's going on. Yeah, I mean, the colors are just changing, you know, as I, obviously, yeah, as I paint, everything's always changing. I am doing my best to faithfully recreate what's immediately in front of me. such a difficult colour. I don't think I'm the first person, first painter to have remarked about that. It really, it really is tricky. in shade <coughs> and now it's all coming out again oh my nose is running so much I, it will never s cease to amaze me that mixing some paint could look like sunlight on a hill it's such a it's such a bizarre thing and sort of so endlessly rewarding and intriguing exciting because I get to I get to do a field half in shadow so the shadows coming in on top now
wind's just blowing my hand everywhere. Ah, my fingers hurt. It's genuinely hard to bend my fingers right now. <coughs> Time is it? Quarter past two. I'm okay with time. trying to work out whether bringing up a bike is less work or more work like physically because when it's flat it's certainly less work it's so efficient but when you're pushing it uphill and I did have to push the last sort of 20% it is unbelievably tiring and heavy but then when you come down again obviously you know it's effortless and I, well not effortless but I really don't like walking down steep hills my knees hurt like crazy so doing it on a bike is fantastic oh I'm messing these colours up but yeah the bike fully loaded is obviously very heavy and I mean, there's no really like lightweight way to do a plein air painting trip. That's one of the one of the issues. Maybe it's just a young man's game. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I'm I'm quite happy with how that looks relative to what's actually in front of me. But what I find so often happens with plein air is that I'll do something like this and I'll 
you know, the point of plein air, I think, is to be able to see colours for what they really are. You're not seeing what the camera sees, you're seeing um, reality right in front of you. So you would think that if you're convinced you've got it right outside, when you get it home, you're, you're taking, you know, you're a piece of reality home. <laughs> but I have lost count of the amount of times I have opened up my painting box back at the studio and been sort of genuinely horrified um, and thought, why, you know, that looks, that looks awful. And I know on, you know, at the time, on the day, it, it looked right, um, which is immensely frustrating because, yeah, the sort of the, you know, big part of the point of Plan Air, if you're like me, you care about sort of representing reality, is that you get the colours right. Sometimes, yeah, you get home, colours are not right. So I really hope that that doesn't happen with this one. You never know. Okay, wind sort of, whoops. The wind's calming down now. Get a pig's ear of this. Oh, Tom, what are you doing? Okay. What do we need here? God, my nose is absolutely streaming. Okay, what do we need? What does it need? If these, I mean... Oh, oh I'm alone now, fantastic. But you are with me, dear listener. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Okay, out of nowhere, the wind's almost gone. The sun's coming out. And I actually feel warmth on my skin. Welcome to Wales. Where everything changes in five minutes.
I mean, it's certainly not the best painting I've ever done, but there's... I think it's got something. I feel like the most important sort of motif is that shadow on the hill colour which I don't think I've got that's too green that's better a bit more punch yeah that's better much better now the clocks have changed and the days are getting shorter it's this sort of window of opportunity for getting reference and getting paintings done just tightens up more and more and more and I have this sort of real frantic feeling when I go out where I've just got to get it done, got to get it done. Ah. Someone as mad as me, hello. <laughs> I think that's a very retro laptop. <laughs> In a way. <laughs> Steve, isn't it? <laughs> That's slick as well, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have the same way as me? Uh, I don't know. Uh, sort of, uh, yeah, sort of, not a zigzag, but out there and then, yeah. It's not too bad. Are you going on further or are you... No, go The old finger smudge is a um, such a great tool between you know fingertips and the paintbrush. You've got a lot of options. Oh, it's getting cold again. Oof! Youch, out of nowhere. Ah! Oh, that hurts. Well, I do like painting this landscape in terms of, you know, you've got you've got sort of a palette out in front of you of all these different shapes and hues and you you know, I'm not painting it exactly, I'm sort of trying to make something that resembles it, but I'm trying to pick my battles and highlight certain things that I like good to see another guy on a mountain bike Sorry?
Am I from Abergavenny? Uh, no, Bristol. But parents live locally, but uh, I know the, I know the area well. Just up for the afternoon. Yeah, and it changes so quickly. Yeah, this is it. This this today. It's today or nothing for a, a, a week or so. I think the forecast doesn't look good. Today's been fantastic. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. Oh. I'm going to have to stop in a sec. Too cold. Nose dripping. Okay, I'm finished. I'm freezing. So that's that. I'm frozen to the marrow. Can't feel my hands and uh, everything's cold basically. So I think it's time to go home. But that was really fun. Definitely not the best painting I've ever done, but always good to, you know, paint from life whenever you can to get it locked into your head. Thanks for watching. <laughs>